Hello, hello. This was around 6.30 p.m. on a Monday. It had rain most of the day, so it's a little gloomy out. I'm taking a trip down to one of my favorite restaurants, Obika, down in Flatiron. We'll take Park down, head right on 27th, and then take Broadway down to the restaurant. The restaurants are Broadway. Um, I get the question a lot about lane splitting in the city, so I wanted to kind of shed some light around it. And again, it's just my experience. Uh, I haven't been doing this a super long time. This is my first riding season. Uh, but so in general, most of my riding is in Manhattan. And what I've found, and the people that I've talked to have found, the general rule of thumb in the city is just don't be a dick. Right? Cops will leave you alone for the most part. You know, I haven't had many run-ins, and I split right in front of them. My And my goal when splitting isn't necessarily to speed for the sake of speeding or to get ahead for the sake of getting ahead. My goal is to just stay away and keep myself out of danger. Uh, may, not, may not look it on camera, but that's more or less the goal. Plus, it's it's a lot of times as hot as balls out during the summer. So you kind of... last thing you want to do is sit there with an idling motor uh, waiting for cars to move when there's tons of space between them. From what I understand, out in Queens, Brooklyn, Bronx, the cops will be a bit more forceful, so this advice kind of only really applies in the areas that I've been riding. So really, like, really any part of Manhattan, I've been okay. I know that there's kind of checkpoints all throughout, like, the outskirts of the city. And when I say the city, by the way, I mean Manhattan. Right? Brooklyn, Queens, that's out there. Uh, I know that they set up checkpoints every now and then on, on like, the FDR. I haven't seen any, so I can't really speak to them. I haven't seen any in the summer at all, but I also, like, kind of actively try to stay the hell away from the FDR. Uh, FDR's a death trap. Uh, West Side of Iowa is a bit more hospitable. Um, cleaner road. Far less road damage. Uh, like, I do this move all the time coming out of uh, the MetLife Building and Park. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's fine. Whatever. Just, if you see, like, it, it, you know, and, and no... No passengers are going to get out here anyway, so I'm pretty safe from, like, opening doors, etc. Every now and then I will blow up the motor, though, just to make sure that people know that I'm kind of, that I'm around. But there's a difference between blipping the motor and revving the engine, right? Don't do it in an asshole way. Or if you do, whatever, that's, that's your own prerogative. I don't. Um, but yeah, you know, again, with cops, just be respectful. Don't be an asshole in front of them. They've got more important things to worry about, I feel, in the city. They'll leave you alone if you leave them alone. Don't be a danger to everyone else. Speed-wise, like, yeah, you know, I'll go, I'll be fast in the city, but not at, like, long clips. First of all, speed cameras. Second of all, it's just not, it's not super safe. Um, so like, I'll speed up across like two or three traffic lights, uh, but I won't sustain that speed. I won't be, you know, I won't be riding 45 miles an hour all throughout the city. Like, see, like that that cop that was standing there, that traffic cop, they're standing right and. And uh, I, I lane split in front of them all the time, all the time. And uh, I've never had any issues. I, I'll give them a nod of the head. They'll sometimes give me the same. And we kind of understand each other. The way that I like to think that they see me is that 
I, I'm just I'm gonna keep moving. Um, and uh, not contributing to congestion. Although maybe they're not thinking. Maybe maybe they're not thinking on those deep levels. I'm not sure how deep the levels are of the thoughts of those guys. The sun does things to you. I like this area. I like Parkette. I also like Broadway, the stretch that I'm gonna go on where Fifth turns into, uh, where Fifth goes into Broadway. I like this part of the city. Roadways are wider, I kinda get around a little bit easier. I used to have an office right over here. This is 26 and Park. In terms of other laws in the city, I, I don't know, like for motorcycles, I just in general feel like so long as you're not being a dick, you're not running red lights, you're not running red arrows, you'll be okay. I've been known to have to take like a bike lane or two to get like, a, like this morning especially to get around a garbage truck. I had to do it, otherwise, you know, I would have been stuck there for minutes and so it was it was empty this morning I made sure that no one was in the bike lane uh, and, and like I didn't I didn't rip it through it right yeah I was considerate you know, I was going like 10 miles an hour just to get around the garbage truck so be considerate don't be a dick you'll be fine Kind of excited next week I get to bring my bike into the shop, get my new black bars put on, my new clutch cylinder put on, ease up on the clutch action a little bit, get some of my uh, camera wiring cleaned up a bit. It's going to be a good week. And I'm heading back to Colorado next week too. That should be fun. No riding this time. We'll have a car. be considerate through this road, through like this section of Broadway. There's my buddy's bike covered. And this is Obika. Good drinks, great restaurant manager. Rides a uh, street triple. I went out with him a couple of times. Uh, headed upstate for a bit, it's fun. Anyway, that's all there is. Cheers.